All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to Railroads Online with Jeremy. Today I am going to be hauling some crude oil to the oil refinery. Or I guess it's just called the refinery in this game, but obviously it's for oil. Um, I just bought these two tankers. I'm not sure what each one can haul, so I just bought two for now. I'm hauling them over to the oil fields with the porter here. And I'm going to get going on that. I was trying to set up the train, but I was like, I might as well record some of this, otherwise it seems like it'd be kind of short. So I'm going to bring this over, we're going to... I'm trying to set it up in an order that I can unload it up there, I think, but... I don't remember what order things went in anyway. So it might be a little bit of a mess when I get up there, probably will be, but that's fine. Send this to the oil wells here and load it up. I already have the plank or the, the lumber cars sitting there. And then I have the other train over there with the plank cars to load up the uh, steel pipes. Of course, if this isn't enough, I'm going to end up cutting this and then going and getting some more oil cars. But I think this might be enough tanker cars, because I don't think I have that much oil out of what I can potentially have. Alright, we're coming up on the switch here. Which I think I need to put this off on the side and pull the little lumber cars ahead. I think these should be... I wish I would have went back up there to take a look, but I don't remember exact order. Alright. Let's hit the brakes right here, because this takes a while to stop anyway, because it's such a small train compared to the cars. Switch this one over, get back on you. Let's go reverse her forward. Let's grind some tires. Or wheels, I guess. <laughs> okay. I guess I want it to be backwards here so that it, when it's up there it's pointing the right direction. Because I want these to be... Now that I say this, this is going to be backwards, but whatever. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Of course, I forgot to switch this one back. <laughs> Alright, I got the train back together, and I'm realizing that this is still going to be backwards even once I get up there. I don't know. No, this is going to be the right direction. The rest of the train will be backwards. Yeah, that's the point. But I know the oil's the last thing that needs to get unloaded, so I need to put that on the back. And I think that actually should be next, but I can't really do that anymore. I think that should be the first. The lumber should be the first thing to get unloaded. But that's okay. and hopefully push them out of the way. <laughs> okay. Now that should be good. Now I'm going to go load up the other train and I will be back once I'm on the other train loading up these steel pipes. Alright, I am back at this train to load up steel pipes. Why I turned up the regulator so much, I did not need to do that. 
realizing the other train is probably going to derail too because I didn't apply the brakes on it. before we run off the tracks. Alright. So now I only need these two cars because I'm only hauling ten pipes. Um, let's... This is <laughs> of course they're not connected anymore. No, you were connected. What happened? Alright. Connect you because I know I connected you before, but can do it again. All right, good to go. Now should be able to go forward and position this properly and load those both up. Yep, I disconnected those other two. Should be good. All right, ten steel pipes. Expect always, but should be good to go, I hope. Yeah, this will be fine. Okay, well, I don't want them both loading onto the same one, so go forward just a smidge then. You load there, you load there. I guess I really don't care where they get loaded, but I know one car can only hold nine, so I'd like to kind of evenly distribute it. steel pipes left. I'm just going to load them all on this one because, I don't know, they need to be even. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to end up being first, then the lumber cars will be next, and finally the oil cars will be last. Alright, there's all my steel pipes. See my new route over there. New sense that it hasn't been seen yet by anyone except me. It's just actually I need to back this train in, so I need to switch this one. I guess I didn't need to stop so soon. <laughs> forward, and then back it down there, connect it to the lumber cars, pull everything forward, and then connect everything together, well, back the crude oil cars up, fill those up, and then connect them to this and get on our way. Take for long to stop. Please work. <laughs> Alright. 
go back up. Uh, better go switch this one because I know it's not the right way. So I better switch a couple of them because I know they're not the right way anyway. Again, sorry if you can hear my computer fan. It's so loud, I don't know why. It's not good, but it is what it is. It's always been that way for some reason. Instead of just running at like a nice, easy, steady pace the whole time, it just cranks itself up every once in a while. And it's really bad right now. <laughs> I guess as time goes on, it's kind of getting worse, too. Makes sense. Alright, to reverse ourselves. Break. Should probably go add a coupling to the back of this, because I'm sure there's not one. Oh, well, there is one. Interesting. Really don't need to go that fast. Changes in there. Not sure how that happened. Alright. Yeah, that'll work out. Yeah, because then that'll be facing there. Right? Okay. Still feel like these should have been before that. Oh, I guess I could have done that. Okay, let's apply these brakes too because we don't seem to be stopping. Wait, what? Hmm. Doesn't seem right. <laughs> Must have already been one stuck in here, maybe? Oh, there's a double. Ah. Well, I'm probably going to need to fix that because I. Doubt that's gonna work. Alright, let's, let's pull forward maybe. Just a little bit. Uh, oops. Alright, now let's back up. We should be good. Maybe I can make it back here before they roll apart. Alright. Now all this stuff is connected up. Let's move this train forward out of the way. Put the crude oil in behind it and load up the crude oil, however you do that. Am I supposed to load it up somewhere else? Or? Just load it over there. you going the right way too, so I don't have to remember to do that later, because I'm sure I would end up going the wrong direction. <laughs> um, as I'm getting here, I'm realizing I don't know how to load the crude oil. Am I supposed to do it on that thing in the center, because that kind of looks like somewhere where you would load up crude oil? <laughs> or do you just do it at the tanks? I have no idea. I'll be back when I figure that out. <laughs> Alright, so I finally actually took a look around and realized that I need to load it here. That makes sense, I just didn't, uh, I didn't notice it before, I guess? I don't know. But, now I got it, and I will be 
I guess I'll just show this little bit of building that I'm doing here. Just to show some building. I don't think I've ever actually shown any building on camera. I don't know. Like I said, nothing fancy. I just try to get where I'm going. <laughs> Actually, line them back up anyway, so that should be good. Alright. I'm good to go this way. Yep. Alright. Everything should be good. Let's go forward and see how this loading goes. <laughs> see this not being too easy for me. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the loading for like the coal mine or the iron ore mine. Oh, I should hit my brakes sooner. I forgot this little train can't stop all of this that easily. this will work. Alright, so I'm back now. I finally figured out how to load the oil here. You gotta turn this valve down here. And then you finally get this lined up properly. You can turn this valve here. It should start pouring the oil in here. It should be done when that one's down to 60. Um, I didn't realize these were only going to hold 12 crude oil, whatever that is a measurement of, but so I need to of course get that set up also. And once I get these loaded up, then I probably should get some more, but I'm not gonna get more cars, I'm just gonna haul this up there and see how that goes. So like I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to need to do once I get up there, because I know I kind of set up a little... God damn it. So I know I kind of set up a little yard up there that may or may not be easy to use. Hopefully this will work, because the last time I tried to load up this one, it just was pouring in the ground. Alright, this looks good. So let's take this one in. Do, 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 so slow, okay. And then this one's going to be done at, what, 48? Forty-eight, so at twelve, that means I need four more cars, but I'm not gonna get four more cars. I guess so. Let's put you back. Let's uh, reverse you to go connect you with the rest of the train. Also, I think if I had six oil cars up there right now, I don't think I'd be able to do all of this at once. And then close those hatches. I'll close those when I'm ready to connect you. Let's 
Let's see, fortunately that train can't stop this on its own, so it looks like we should be fine. Hopefully, unless it stops like two inches short. No, nope, looks like we're going to be good. Alright, let's take the brake off this train, off the porter. Which one is the brake? There's the brake. It's been a while since I used that. I think these are all good, and we should be ready to go to the refinery now. how this goes. Assuming everything's connected. Yep, looks like we're going. Alright, I was off to my new rail on the refinery. New route. Yes. Should be fine to go 100%. There's really no sharp curves. I don't think. A little bit of jankiness that's right there, but it seems like everything's fine. Oh, it should. It does look kind of sharp. Final episode for the game, probably not, but probably not going to make episodes every day just because I wanted to try to deliver something to every industry just to see what it's like and have a whole train network set up, which I do. Not as good as I would like it, of course, but at the moment I don't see any reason why I'd want to continue, I guess. Unless there's something somebody would like me to do. Trying to figure out what sort of games I want to play. Alright. I don't remember what the grade of this is. I think it's 4%, so I think this should be fine. It's not that much weight, I don't think. <laughs> I just realized I set up this whole train completely backwards. <laughs> But, whatever. It actually might work, because I should be able to disconnect the oil train as its own train. I think... Maybe. Maybe not. Alright, so let's see. So lumber does go first, like I thought. Um, then the steel pipe, and then the crude oil is last, naturally. I know I didn't connect the outputs yet, because I don't necessarily care about that at the moment. Um, so let's see here. So I have steel pipes first, which I don't think I'm going to be able to deliver. <laughs> um, I think if I just pull in here, I might be able to disconnect the oil train. I guess it's, it's a separate train. Let's just start going forward right away because I know we're still on the hill. Although we're not on the steep part of the hill. Well, that's probably on the steep part of the hill. But I think I should be able to squeeze this in here. Oh, it looks like there's more than enough room to squeeze this in here, so... Okay, so I guess my plan will work the way I wanted it to, sort of. Unintentionally, well, intentionally, but unintentionally. Let's keep coasting forward a little bit here. I want to get the lumber car out of the way. Alright. Now we can disconnect the oil train, which was my original plan. Let's 
is actually exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, assuming, of course, that I can push this backwards up this hill again once I get past the switch. I don't... Well, I guess it does start going down, but it's not too bad. Uh, let's see here. It starts stopping, because I know that train can't stop the stuff on its own anyway. Okay, let's take these brakes off, because the train should still be able to hold it. Alright, let's get going. Hopefully. That was kind of my fear. Alright. <laughs> yep, I kind of figured that. Obviously it's not a traction issue, it just can't... Okay, wait, now it can get it moving? Okay, good. I mean, this is quite a bit of weight, but I don't think this little porter should be able to push these two cars around. Alright, yeah, this is work exactly as I wanted it to. That's good. Just a little bit of shuffling around, and we'll be good. So how does this work? Am I just going to literally unload these on this? Okay. Whatever you say, boss. So, okay. Okay, well, that's literally all it is, so. Works for me. Alright. Now I need to get this thing going forward here and hook up the. I guess the whole thing. Thing, disconnect right there, connect to this. Alright, switch you over. Oh, am I going to push this whole train back up the hill? I don't know. Alright. Now let's back up. this disconnected from the class 70 is that what I've been using <laughs> I don't even remember yeah, I guess so um, disconnect you here and then we'll be over there and load the steel pipes um, let's get going here Oh, these aren't even fully loaded, so I can't imagine they weigh too much more than those two fully loaded oil tankers. But we're going to be further down the grade, too, so that definitely is going to affect things. How fast can we stop these cars? Can it even stop these cars? Okay, good. Alright, oh, and switch to the other one, because I don't want to go back to the oil tanker cars. I should probably move that too if I get the chance, because that's in the way. I don't think I'm going to have enough room to move it. I guess I can just move it further down this line, that'll work too. Which brakes did I apply? Okay, did I just apply the one brake? Good. Alright. Reverser, regulator, break. <laughs> Alright, good. Then I'm just gonna go move the class 70 further down the line here and just park it up the slope. Let's see what I can do. If I can get this whole thing off here, then I'll park it over here. 
Oh yeah, good, plenty of room. I need more break, more break. More break, too late. Oh good, I'm just barely enough. <laughs> All right, okay, I got myself weirdly stuck in the pipe here. I'm not gonna unload those ones because I don't think that's gonna work. Did I apply? Did I apply? I don't think I applied anything else today. I didn't catch it. Okay, good. Let's go pull this forward just a smidge so that I can unload. out of the way so I can unload the lumber. I'll have to switch this and switch this. Yeah. There we go. Definitely excited to see where this game goes. I know there's a lot more that they're planning on doing, improving building and such, and I'm sure they have more plans for the game itself. But it's a really good game even as it is. It's just so much fun to be able to build train tracks like this and use them in first person like this. I've never, I've never played a game like this. Which is a shame, because I wish there were more games like this. percent but let's go. Looks like we're going to clear that just barely. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Let's just apply that brake. I'm going to apply this brake in case the pressure lets off. I don't know if that's a thing in this game, but I know you need the pressure built up for the brakes to be on. Uh, I don't think I disconnected this like I should have. Okay, now we're good to go forward, turn the brake off, regulator at something, and then we'll go and load our lumber. And we'll see how much uh, oil we've made on the back. Find oil, gasoline, I don't know what we're making here. <laughs> Realizing I don't know what they're actually planning on making here. Probably gas in the room. would have been used much at this time period yet, so it's probably not gas. Can you stop so we don't roll all the way down the hill? Alright. I'm going to have to turn you off, otherwise the train is not going to overcome these brakes. I feel like I turned it on a little bit. Yep. I don't want it on at all. Alright, reverse reverse, regulator 100, brake off. Alright. Fuel, the fire temperature's dropping, but it's still fine. Probably just apply the brakes right now because I know this train really. Porter can't really stop it anyway. Oh well, of course it actually stops this. <laughs> Not bad. get both of these at the same time? Mm. Probably not. In fact, can I even unload both of these the way I did this? <laughs> Hopefully. I can never tell which way I'm looking at Okay. Let's see what we're making. How much are we using? Is it steel pipe? 
pipes not using too much. Crude oil's already gone, okay. So I did need a lot more crude oil. Um, there we go. What do we make like uh looks like we made quite a bit. Hopefully. Ten barrels. Well, yeah, it's something. Alright, well, I guess this has been my sixth episode of Railroads Online. Like I said, I'm really looking forward to see what, seeing what happens to this game in the future. I'm sure a lot of good things are planned. And, um, I definitely want to play it some more, of course. Maybe try some other linkages, because I know there's lots of ways to go here. Well, I guess there's not really a lot of ways to go, but you can do ridiculous routes through the mountains, which I might try to do, because I know I need... Well, this is not really going to matter too much. But, anyway, I'm <laughs> just rambling on about nothing right now, so... If you liked this episode, please like and subscribe, and I will be making more videos. Like I said, not sure if I'll be making too many more videos of this right now, but I might. I guess I still need to finally deliver that to the freight depot, I guess. And I need to bring more crude oil up here, because I should have got more crude oil cars. But anyway, um, goodbye. This has been Railroads Online with Jeremy. Thank you for watching.